Hi guys, uh, this is a quick illustration on how to use space gas. We will design a, uh, a simply supported beam. Uh, the version is 10, very old version, but it's very similar across all the, uh, the latest software. So I don't think there'll be much of a difference. Same, same procedure, same step. All right, uh, once you open the program, you might find a, uh, an older file here, an older project. We can say file up here and a new okay we'll give you a blank sheet and then we select structure structure wizard there are a lot of structural elements here that we can use 3d and 2d and you know we can have uh, beams on springs and continuous beams but we will for this for the sake of this exercise we will use simply supported beam so click on this uh, and then you'll find the length, it's going to be in meters. Let's do a, a five meter beam. Over here we'll keep the uh, supports pinned either ends. Um, the material properties as well as the steel section. We will keep it as it is and we will change it from the um, diagram, from the, um, from the other tab. It's a lot easier, okay. Uh, keep everything here as the same and press OK. Okay, now we want to firstly uh, select the member. So we select the member like this, and with the right click of the mouse, we will click properties. Down here, we have the section properties and we have the material properties. The, we keep this as steel, but I'll click on the library here to show you what it looks like. We have several properties here, material properties. Let's click steel and OK. For the section properties, there's a couple of options. You can click the library or you can have a custom. You can have a customized section properties as well and draw in your own section properties if you like. But let's use the library for this example. So we click here. And then for, uh, for the section properties, we will use a parallel flange channel. Let's say we use uh, 300 PFC, five meters long, 300 PFC, for the loading, we will allow 20 kilonewton per meter. So for 300 PFC, I mean, from, from experience, you might get 11 or 12 millimeter deflection. So let's click on 300 PFC and say, OK. It could be a floor beam. Most likely you have a, a large floor beam in a residential house. Then we want to put the loading in. So we got the properties and we've got the section properties and the material properties then we press ok after that we click again with the left click in the mouse and then with your the right click you click loading where is the distributed loading it should be here somewhere right here member distributed forces and then we click on this one here with the left click apply load to the selected members as a group press ok all right we are putting the load in the direction of global y right vertical so we come over here and click minus 20 which is 20 kilonewton per meter at the start of the beam and it will also continuously be 20 kilonewton per meter right throughout the beam and press ok now, uh, this is a simply supported beam, so most likely we will be interested in the results at the center of the beam. Why? Because deflection will be maximum at the center of the beam and the bending moment will be maximum as well. Shear will be maximum at the ends. So, what do I need to do? I need to break this beam. So I click on it with the left click and then right click again and say subdivide. 
I want to subdivide it in equal spaces so that the maximum will be at the center. Press OK. I have two elements. One beam, one member, but two elements. Just so that I can find the results uh, of the deflection and bending moment at the center. That's it. That's all we need to do. Very simple. And then we go to Analyze. And then we click on Linear Static Analysis. And after that we press it, it is a linear static analysis and then after that we press OK. Alright, static analysis completed, everything is fine, there are no errors, then press OK. Alright, time for the results. What do we do? Well, I want to know the deflection, you press deflected shape. Okay, it's got a deflected shape but there are no results. So how to determine the results? We come over here and click the left click on this this bit here this button here and then select show high diagram oh, okay we got 11.24 so I, I, <laughs> I wasn't too too far off the results so 11.24 millimeter deflection and negative because it's going down all right okay uh, I still can see my the loading diagram minus 20 kilonewton per meter how to get rid of that you can easily press this here then you can see the deflected shape alone. All right. The bending moment, we click the deflected shape to turn it off, then click on the bending moment diagram here. The maximum bending moment is also at the ten center, 62.5 kN per meter. Very good, you want to determine the shear force, you click on the shear force, and we have, of course, 50 kN per meter because uh, it is WL over 2. Alright, now let's, as uh, last point, let's as, uh, assume that we want to find the results not so much as at the center but at, at quarter points. So how do we do that? Well, we select this half member and we can subdivide that as well. So we, with the right click, after we select this member with the left click and then the right click, and then we say we go all the way down to subdivide and we are subdividing this also equally spaced and then let's also subdivide this as well so same idea subdivide equally spaced okay great then we do the same thing analyze if you want to see the loading again you can press on that it's the same loading 20 kilonewton per meter but we need to analyze the section from again because we have changed the format of this beam so we have to go back here again analyze uh, analysis and then linear static analysis and then okay and press okay now if we want to press the deflected shape we have now the 11.24 millimeters and 8 millimeters at quarter points okay if you want to check the uh, bending moment, it's the same idea, 62.5 and 46.8 at quarter point. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, next time we will take a more complicated view. Okay, thank you and have a lovely afternoon.